experience this. I'm on it. Come discover the world around yeah. us. We'll observe nature's wonders. <laughs> Using science and imagination. We'll experiment and build creation. has worn away where we walk between the treehouse and Burpee's footy. And when the rain comes... Mud! Hmm. We need something hard here. Like stones. Like on that path. The stones there stop it getting muddy. I know where there are lots of stones. Down by the river. Great. Let's get the trailer on and get us some stones. <laughs> They're just around here. There are lots of stones here. Wait. Wow, look at this. What is it? It looks like an animal tooth. But it's made of rock, so that means it's a fossil. What's a fossil? Once, a long time ago, there was a real animal tooth here, and it got buried in mud. Just like that leaf. See how the mud covers it up? Yes. Same with the tooth. Then the mud around it turned to rock. Then the tooth slowly wore away, and the tooth-shaped hole it left filled up with more mud. Which turned to rock? Yes. So this is a copy of a real animal tooth, but made from rock. Wow! What sort of animal? I don't know. But I'm sure we can find out. That's amazing! It's a copy of a copy of a tooth. Come on, we'd better get those stones back to make our path. This path is looking really good. Kia ora, Darwin. Kia ora, Newts. What are you doing? Kia ora, Henny. We're making a stone path so our feet don't get muddy. But we're also finding fossils. Show her, Darwin. A real fossil? This was a tooth-shaped fossil we found on a rock face near the river. I have never seen a real fossil. Can you show me it? Of course. We would love to. And we need some help getting the stones for our path as well. Great! I can help. Whoa! That's incredible! It looks just like a real tooth. I wonder what sort of animal it's from. We're not sure. It must have been amazing to find a fossil. It sure doesn't happen very often. Except, what's this? This looks like a seashell. A seashell? We're not in the sea. It is. It's a seashell fossil. Darwin, I'm confused. How come a seashell was here? I don't know, but I'm determined to find out. That's impressive! Thanks. Now we have a path to finish. There! One more load of stones and 
the path will be finished. Good, because the last thing we want to do is slip in the mud. Let's go. Whoa! The last thing I did was slip in the mud. <laughs> Are you all right, Newts? I'm fine. Titiro, look. Handprints. That gives me an idea. I'm on. Ah. Oh. Presenting my latest invention, the human handprint fossil maker. Just one more shovel full of stones. It's so wonderful that you found two fossils in one day. Do you know what's more amazing? Finding three fossils on one day. Titiro, look! Wow, what is that? <gasps> I don't know. It's an ammonite. Whoa! Oh, kia ora, wapiti. <laughs> kia ora, Darwin and Haney. Yes, what you found is the fossil of an ammonite that lived Hundreds of millions of years ago. Hundreds of millions of years? That's really, really old. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what are ammonites, Wapiti? Ammonites are creatures that used to live under Moana, the sea, all that time ago. Under the sea? That's interesting. Because if you look up here, we found another fossil from under the sea. A little seashell. But Wapiti, we're not under the sea. We're not under the sea now. But millions of years ago, all the land around here was under the sea. Really? Yes, and very, very slowly it lifted out of the water. And that's why we have sea creature fossils right here. But Wapiti, what about this fossil? You didn't find three fossils? We did. But this one up here, it's a tooth from an animal. Goodness gracious. Not just any animal. It's from a shark. A, a shark? shark? A shark from under the sea, like the other fossils. Amazing! Yes, each fossil was made as each thing fell down to the mud at the bottom of the sea. It is very rare to find fossils. Finding so many means this is a pretty special spot. Wait a minute! Let's science it! If the fossils were made when they fell to the bottom of the sea and were slowly covered in mud... That's right. And the shark tooth fossil is up here and the seashell fossil is in the middle here and the ammonite fossil is at the bottom... Yes? That means the ammonite fossil is the oldest and the seashell fossil is the next oldest and the shark tooth fossil is the youngest. You're right, Darwin. The lower down the fossil is, the older it is. So this rocky wall is full of stories telling us about the life before us. That's a good way of thinking about it, Darwin. Bye for now. Bye, Wapiti. I've got to show Newts this ammonite. These fossils all show us what's been here before. Hmm. And now, all I need to do is fill up where your hands were with plaster, leave them for a bit, and they will go hard. Just like fossils! Just like fossils! Me Haro! Awesome! Shall we finish the path now? Yes! Great idea! Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Done! Now we can 
can get to Burpee Spider without getting muddy. Bravo. Good work, Henny. Good work, Mutes. Mutes? Look what I've got! Our very own fossils! So someday, someone will discover who lived here. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs>